So I've been using NordVPN for over two years now, and after going through many updates, on one hand, NordVPN continues to be a solid choice for people looking to unblock streaming services or just stay safe when torrenting. But on the other hand, it's still missing some features on Apple devices, which is definitely a shame, but is it really a deal breaker? Well, in today's review, I'll be looking into all of that in order to help you figure out whether or not NordVPN could be a good choice for you and your particular needs or situation. So the first thing we're going to go over is the logging policy and jurisdiction. NordVPN has a transparent privacy policy and they do promise to not collect any logs. And they do prove their claims in the third party independent audit reports that they've conducted throughout the years. And if that's not enough, even when a server had been compromised, such as in Finland in 2018, no user credentials were exposed since NordVPN does not keep any logs. Also, immediately after that incident, Nord terminated their contract with the server provider and invited Versprite to run a prompt audit in order to spot any weaknesses in the server infrastructure as well as quickly fix any potential issues. And so nothing of the sort has happened again ever since then. NordVPN has also been conducting regular audits to make sure that they stay on top of everything. They also operate RAM only servers which basically means that there are no physical drives which leaves little to no room for data to be stored in said servers so overall nordvpn's privacy policy is one of the best in the industry and the independent audit reports do back up their no logs claims so you can be sure that your data is in safe hands with nordvpn now in terms of speed keep in mind that the speed tests may differ from one isp to another it also depends on your location and how far you are from the servers you're connecting to but even if your speed drops by 50 percent that's actually still acceptable when connecting to servers that are on the other side of the globe though you'd be glad to know that with nordvpn's true wireguard protocol nord links your speed drops will be maintained within the 10 to 25 or sometimes 30 percent range and a lot of times i've noticed that the speed drop is even below 10 percent so it is excellent nordvpn is most certainly on top of its game with regards to speed and gaming wise, you can be sure that your ping will remain low as long as you connect to the VPN server that's closest to the gaming server. That's pretty much the main thing that determines uh, ping. It's just all about distance. Now, in terms of streaming and torrenting, Nord makes it so that you can do these tasks on any server without having to pick a specialized server, though you do have access to peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers for maximum efficiency while torrenting. As for streaming, I've tried unblocking multiple Netflix libraries like the Japanese and American ones, and it worked with no problems whatsoever. And it's important to note that this is in spite of Netflix's efforts to prevent VPNs from doing so. NordVPN also has a smart play feature that's specifically designed to bypass geoblocks and keep you secure the same time. It combines DNS with VPN technology to easily evade blocks while still maintaining your security. NordVPN can also unblock Hulu, BBC, Amazon Prime Video, uh, Disney Plus, and much more. But just keep in mind that if you happen to not be able to unblock a specific library, simply switch to another location or a different server and you'll be good to go. Now getting into the security features of NordVPN, Nord does have a good variety of advanced options with top of the line protocols like OpenVPN and Nord Lynx as mentioned earlier, and a bunch of other features such as the kill switch, which cuts your internet connection when the VPN disconnects for any reason, as well as split tunneling, which lets you decide which apps are included or exempt from the VPN. VPN tunnel. Though keep in mind that this feature is currently not available for Mac users, unfortunately. Additional features include specialty servers such as Double VPN, which encrypts your traffic twice instead of just once for double the encryption and extra security. And you've got Onion over VPN for Tor users, dedicated IP servers, and the previously mentioned peer to peer servers. You also get threat protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and protects your device from harmful files. You also get the recently added Mac net feature which allows you to share files over the encrypted network of nordvpn with people of your choosing you get custom dns for an easy way to change your dns for example you can use custom dns servers for more parental controls on your router uh, nord also offers dns and ipv6 leak protection and having tested nordvpn for potential leaks as expected there were no leaks whatsoever so as you can tell there are plenty of features for users to tinker with and each has its own utility depending on 
on what you're doing. Now NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while 60 countries may seem like about the average in the industry, they are evenly spread around the map that you will most certainly find a server that works well near you no matter where you are in the world. Compatibility wise, NordVPN works with all kinds of devices including streaming sticks and smart TVs. Nord will also allow users to secure up to six devices per subscription, which is just about the industry standard. Not to mention that the user interface, in my opinion, has the best design out of all the VPNs I've used. I'm simply a fan of the world map design. Now, if you're interested in NordVPN, check the description below. I'll include the best deals I can find to drop the price even more. And of course, you are able to get a refund if you don't find these service suitable with their 30 day money back guarantee. Now, one reason why NordVPN may not be suitable for you is the fact that split tunneling is not available on Mac. Another reason will be that the ability to turn off the kill switch is only available on Android version 8.0 or later. Also on iOS and Mac, the kill switch feature is always on automatically, while Android users have the ability to turn it off. And if you don't see the always on VPN option in your Android settings, then there's a system level kill switch that's always on automatically. And then another reason you may not want NordVPN is if you want more advanced settings, like more in-depth control over your protocols and what encryption levels they use. So if you want to switch from 256-bit to 128-bit encryption, unfortunately you don't have such granular options over your protocol settings. Uh, it's just made to be a little bit simpler than that for the average user. But if you're a more advanced user and this is an important feature for you to have, then you'll probably want to choose a different VPN. But otherwise, is NordVPN still worth your money? Well, I think NordVPN is, in my opinion, considered one of the best value options in terms of the quality of the service itself, uh, considering the price, it's actually quite reasonably priced. So yeah, I think it is absolutely worth the money considering the performance, security, privacy, and everything that you get with NordVPN, especially that they keep giving you more and more features as time goes by and they keep updating the service to make it better and better. Other key reasons for choosing Nord would be if you want a buffer-free streaming experience arguably the best speeds in the industry or just want a solid no locks policy vpn with extra security layers and options for even more privacy while browsing the web and for anyone looking for the best vpn to use while torrenting nord is certainly the way to go no one will ever know what you're downloading including your internet service provider and then as an added bonus nord is also very easy to use for beginners and has some advanced features for the more seasoned vpn users so ultimately nord vpn continues to be one of my favorite vpns to recommend thank you guys very much for watching and if you want to see more of these reviews feel free to support me by liking the video and subscribing the research testing and fact checking does take quite a bit of effort and it would make my day to see that you guys like what i do and definitely comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos